Hi guys, how are we? Ben Kubra, Stroke No Limits. Now, I was inspired today. I was listening to my uh, regular podcast, the Rich Roll podcast, and it was an interview with uh, Dave Goggins, who is a Navy SEAL. And I would, I'll would, i put links on to watch the podcast, but I would definitely highly recommend it. I have listened to David Goggins in previous podcasts covered by other people. But he has a really good story to tell, and um, it basically talks about how he his outlook on on life and his philosophies. And um, a lot of people see what he achieves and think it's unbelievable and it's impossible. But he's proved it's not impossible, and that's what he wants to show people and show them the way and show them that if you really want something, just do it. We all hold ourselves back because we want to ask those questions. We want to question um, for knowledge. We want to know. Before. People will hold themselves back through fear, right? So you don't know enough about something. Your chances of changing, you're going to postpone. You're going to hold on. People change through fear of having to change. They change through knowledge. They, when they know enough to change, they'll change. They can also change when they see change. So they see people go through changes and uh, overcome adversity and do things. So that inspires them to say, oh, well, if they can do it, I can do it. Now, and that can be a limitation because we want to hold back and wait for things to happen. So I'm just going to play this little clip and um, hopefully you can take as, as much information from it as well. It probably goes for just over five minutes. But um, I hope that it um, inspires you and you watch the pod- listen to the podcast and helps you along your journey and inspires you to stop questioning and just take action and follow through with your dreams, your goals and desires and that's what I would like to help and inspire you to and believe and and if I can take you along that journey, I'm happy to join along. Stroke the limits. And here's the podcast guys, the Rich Roll podcast, a uh, little section I've taken out with uh, David Goggins. Now, this guy has passion, this guy has desire and determination. And um, hence, I think sometimes it gets like well, it's me in a bit of trouble. A bit, I'm just so passionate that I can get taken the wrong way. But I'm my drive is to help you and and help you improve. And hope he comes across the same way. But hope you enjoy. And again, sorry about the f words. There's a few f words in there. So um, enjoy. If you tell me what David's morning routine is, or if you tell me exactly what his training program is, or if you tell me exactly how he eats. Then I can be David Goggins, or I can approximate. <laughs> I can approximate some right. aspect of. I can. I can bring a little bit of David Goggins into my life. Right. And for me, it's missing the most important thing, it's the which is going back to mindset. It's like connecting with yourself. That's all what it is. is. What is it that that gets you out of bed? Like, how can you find that? Per- it's not about what David does in his no. morning routine or what his workout is. It's about you and your relationship to yourself. You said it right. Period. Dot. It's not about what David's eating. It's not about what anybody's eating. Once you figure out who you are, hopefully you get one thing from me today. Change the way you are thinking. Don't put... But if you're... But if you... Listen, I'm just trying to get in the... in. I'm trying to get into the head of the guy who's sitting at his cubicle at work. Right. Who's hating his life, mm-hmm. right? And David's telling me, I got to change the way I think. Well, like, what the fuck do I do with that? Like, I don't, I don't understand what I'm supposed to actually do. Well, what you do... What you're supposed to do is everybody has issues. You're a human being. You're fucked up somewhere. And that somewhere or several somewheres is keeping you in that same spot. Like the spot is this. How do you lose 100 pounds? How do you run 100 miles? How do you, how do you, how do you, how do you? Let me tell you how. Stop asking these fucking questions is how. Stop you're delaying the fucking process by wasting my fucking time. How I did it, I wanted it. So my process was, as I'm asking questions, I'm running to lose weight. I'm figuring out how to do it. Most of us sit back and say, God, I wish I could do that. And we wait. And we wait. And we ask more questions. And ask more questions. And prolong. David, what kind of watch are you wearing? What kind of running exactly. shoes? Exactly. It's like they're not going to go out and run until they got all the answers. I need, the gear. I need to know all this stuff. Right. Or who's, uh, you know, what is your approach to this thing? Right. Da, 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 da. And I look at you and I'm like, this guy wanted to do bad water. You know, a week later, he's running 100 miles on a track. You exactly. Know, nothing about nothing. 
that's like exactly you that you had you you had drive and you had a vision and you had passion and you went after it and you had not only did you not have the answers you weren't even asking the questions yet i don't care <laughs> because and, and that's the thing about it like and that's what's so funny you and that's why i get so turned off by people like that i get it you have to have knowledge to be great at something and to, to, to lose weight to be a smart you gotta have knowledge knowledge is power but I'm going to tell you right now, man, how much damn knowledge do you need? You can go on the internet right now and figure out how to drop five pounds tomorrow. Everything is right there at your service. If you want it, you will achieve it. But if you want to waste time and figure out, ask all these fucking questions, I'm going to give you the same answer. Stop asking the question and achieve what you want. If I asked a bunch of questions, I would still be trying to figure out how to do, run 100 miles. So many people tell me, I would love to run Badwater one day. Why the fuck haven't you done it? You told me that five years ago. I wonder, I had an idea to run Badwater. I did it in four months. <laughs> I qualified in four days and ran the damn race. I wanted to be a Navy SEAL, had to lose 105 pounds in 60 days to get in and do it. I lost the weight and became a damn SEAL. I wanted to be a ranger at 41 years old. People go, what do you want to do next? I don't know. I've already done it. Because the second I thought about it, I researched it. I didn't ask questions. I achieved it. We waste tons of time not starting our journey for asking so many fucking questions on how to start the journey. Get an idea. Start walking and figure the shit out as you go. Vision quest. But David, you don't understand my life. Exactly. You know, I got, I got, you know, I work. I have to get up at five, and I yep. work till nine, and I got three kids, and yep. I'm barely making ends meet. Like it's cool that you can do that, but like that's, you know, it's just not possible. What I love about that is people can come at me with all that crap all day long. When I say that right there to you, I was a full time Navy SEAL. There's 24 hours in a day. I was doing ultra races, and how I did it was I had to be at work at seven o'clock in the morning. I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning, I ran, and then I rode my bike to work, and I did the same thing, and I came home. If you want it, you will find time in your life to do it. If you don't want it, you will continue to do exactly what you're doing now is give me excuses. You're going to make up every excuse on why you can't do it, and that's why I can't connect with you. That's why you hear the passion come out of me, and you want to say it's anger? No, because I know it can be done. And you're telling me all this shit on why it can't be done. And then what you do is, he's crazy. He's in a cag. No, you don't want it bad enough. If you want it bad enough, you will figure out how to make this shit happen. And most people don't want anything bad enough. No. I think that's the truth. Period. That's the unfortunate, sad truth. Uh -huh. yeah. That's good for me, though. I'll take it all. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it all. And I always tell you about it right now. When I grew up, I'm 41 years old. And we always talk about the old days. It's not, I'm not old, but it was a different time. Parents could actually whip their kids and they actually had things like that going on. If I was, with my mentality today, if I was born now with my mentality today, it'd be such an easy, easy way to go. So easy. You would just crush, crush everybody. All these snowflakes it'd are going to be melting I'd around be a, you. I, I would have so much stuff for me because why it's so easy to compete with these guys. <clears throat> you can crack somebody. You can crack their will in a second. You're fat. Oh, my God. What was me? You can crack someone in a minute because they don't know how to twist it and find drive and motivation and passion to become better, to become great. That right there, you tell one kid he's fat, that may stick with him the rest of his life and take him down a whole other journey than the journey he's supposed to be on. This is a, a very different society. So in terms of...